So here we have the Ford S-Max Titanium on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five-door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors. All seven seats are currently in place. So this is the amount of boot space you would have in that scenario. Let me show you what it's like with them folded down. And there you go. As you can see, you get a huge amount of boot space with those two rear seats folded down. The two what are now, uh, sorry, the three what are now rear seats will also fold down individually should you need even more space than this. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car now, and then I'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see it's in great condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. These seats are as good as new. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. You can see the total miles for this car are 11,184. Uh, you can change information on the left-hand side of the steering wheel with buttons, uh, sorry, on the left-hand side of the dials with buttons on the steering wheel. Uh, as you can see, there's various different bits of fuel economy information available to you. We have a trip computer as well just there. And the information in the middle that currently is showing what radio station we're listening to, that too can be changed. Uh, so not only can you tune through radio stations from there, but you can go back to the main menu. You can go to your satellite navigation menu, your phone menu, or... You can have a digital readout for the speedometer up there as well, which is particularly handy. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using a moment ago for the left-hand side and the right-hand side are just here. Uh, beneath which, we've got cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, we have stereo controls as well as voice activation for the phone. So if you hit that button and ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list, it'll do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you paired the phone, and that is done on the central screen just here. We'll come back to that in a moment. You can see, first of all, that this car has got satellite navigation. It's all touch screen. Uh, there's a full video showing exactly how this works on our website and on our Facebook page. I can highly recommend watching that. Uh, to pair a phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. Simply follow those instructions on screen. It's very, very easy to do. And once you pair the phone, not only will you be able to make and receive phone calls, but you'll be able to stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. Um, you can also see there we've got a CD player. DAB digital radio, FM and AM radio as well. There are also two USB inputs, so plug a device into either of those or both of those and you have the two squares come up on here and you can select that and listen to music that way as well. Working our way down, we have the CD player and then we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the temperature on the driver and passenger sides of the car. Any adjustment you make is shown on the main screen, so passenger side, driver side, the fan speed as well. Uh, fan speed is adjusted here. Once you're happy with the temperatures that you set, press that button to turn the air conditioning on or back off again, or hit auto, and the car will maintain those temperatures for you by taking control of the fan speed itself, and you can override that simply by readjusting the fans. We also have a heated front screen and heated rear screen as well. In this section, which opens up, we have a 12 volt charging socket and the two USB inputs that I mentioned a moment ago, a six speed manual gearbox with electronic handbrake, and then to the right hand side of that, this button will turn on the parking sensors, I'll turn them off again, and that will turn off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out in traffic when you're stationary to save you fuel. That button will turn that system off. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.